why yes, I did get a haircut. Thank you so much for noticing. And if you were unaware before, maybe I'll like link the video of it up on the screen. And I think that's a thing I can do on this channel. I don't really know. But something I used to joke about a lot when I had the long hair and when people would like ask me if I would cut my long hair, I'd say, no, I can't. I'd lose my powers. And then like after cutting my hair now, I've enjoyed being able to make the joke of like, I hope I still have my powers referring to the biblical character of Samson. Samson's claim to fame being that he had long hair that he was told or his mother was told by an angel of the Lord that he is never allowed to cut and if he followed that and never cut his hair that he would have great strength from the Lord and Samson was this um, mighty powerful dude. So now that I have cut my hair and um I don't think I've lost my powers, but I, I wanted to touch on the story of Samson and how we can apply it in some sense to our lives. So as I said, Samson, long hair, gave him his powers. And along the way, you know, he did some, some dope things, like a lion ran at him, and it says he tore the lion with his bare hands. But along Samson's journey of crushing Philistines and being a massive dude, he meets this woman named Delilah that he falls in love with and the people that want to get rid of Samson use Delilah to figure out how to get rid of Samson. So Delilah pesters Samson about where do you get your powers from and Samson three different times gives her like a false reason of like if you bound me with straw or you bound me with rope that will get rid of my powers and each time he's like I still have my powers okay that was kind of weird but after the, the fourth time after Delilah continues pestering and pestering he finally gives in and tells her the secret that it's his hair that gives him his power and then of course the, he, he falls asleep she cuts his hair and game over here's how that applies to our lives we need to be conscious of the people that we surround ourselves with. Because Delilah is someone that Samson loves or loved and he wouldn't expect Delilah to do him any harm because that's someone close to him. And we can blindly allow negative influences into our lives in the same way. If you don't want to take part in some kind of negative activity or something that the people around you might be involved in, you can stand back for a while, but they'll continue to pester you and pester you in this thing that we call peer pressure. And peer pressure is a very real thing. And often how we end up getting into uh, bad situations, making bad decisions is heavily influenced by the people around us. And it's so important to be aware of people that you might think on the surface are cool people that are fun to be around that want the best for you don't have your best intentions in mind and might drag you into situations and circumstances that aren't healthy for you and as strong as you might think you are as hard as you might think you'll be able to resist eventually if you are constantly surrounded by peer pressure it's almost inevitable that you will give in like Samson. And the reality that you need to be aware of is that there are potentially toxic people that you might surround yourself with that have the ability to strip you of your powers. So we can look at the story of Samson and then look at our own lives and say, where am I experiencing this negative peer pressure and this pestering like Delilah that might potentially be stripping me of my God-given powers and wonderful ability to be the best that I can be. So don't let people cut your hair. Be aware of the Delilahs in your life because you, my friend, are made for greatness and you have some fantastic powers that could be unleashed if you're not always surrounded by peer pressure.